Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this is my third live stream and it's all been a bit of a rush just trying to finish off getting set up there. So uh, if I feel a bit flustered, that's why. Anyway, I uh, hope there's a uh, few people out there. Oh, hello, Katie Unlisted. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, so it's now been a full 28 days since I got rid of my Motorola and swapped for a uh, Nokia 110. It's been an interesting 20 odd days. Hello, Andreas. Sayonuski. Ski. It must be a ski. Apologize for my bad pronunciation, but thank you for joining me. Um, it's definitely been a very interesting 28 days. I did look up, so we all know how addicted we are to phones in general, and I am no exception. I was absolutely addicted to my phone. Um, and I did look up how long Google thinks it takes to get over any kind of addiction. And the answer is six months is the absolute minimum, apparently, for like changing habits and genuinely being over an addiction in such a way that you're not going to go back into those kind of habits. It also says that for some people, it can be up to five years, so a very long time. Hello, Stephen. Nice of you to join me. Um, so with that in mind, although I've done a month, I don't think I'm anywhere near the point where I can say, yes, I've abandoned my phone and I'm never going back. I don't think that's where I'm at. I do, however, plan to continue not using a smartphone for quite a while longer. And we'll come to that at the end. I've come up with two good options for what I might do next because my current my current system with this phone is not working for me. So I've got a couple of options and I would essentially like to know what you'd want to see and then I'll go down that route and we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. So I thought I'd share a few stats with you because we all love stats. Um, so uh, in the last 28 days, I have charged this five times. Don't get me wrong, it did die unexpectedly on me twice uh, because the battery indicator is absolute rubbish. So the first time around, it reported full for five days and then just died, literally died. And the second time, it had uh, gone to halfway and then just died, even though it said I had half a battery charge left. So, I mean, there's no accounting for that. So long and the short is 28 days, five charges. I don't think that's bad at all, considering this would have needed 28. So, you know, uh, hello to Shero and hello, Curti Unlisted. Nice to see you. Yes, I am also interested to see how all this goes for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, I've actually spent um, three hours and 16 minutes making phone calls on this. And this is a reflection of the fact that it takes so long to write a message. So it's changed the way I use my phone anyway. So instead of sending a bunch of messages to arrange something, I do tend to pick up the phone now and just call people. It's a lot quicker. It's a lot easier. Perhaps it's not what everyone likes, but it, it's working and I quite enjoy it. So I'm going to continue with that. That said, I've managed to send 526 messages, which is quite a lot of thumb typing and does explain why my thumb hurts some days from texting. And um, so, yeah, so I've definitely done plenty of messages. Now, the problem is I did look on my smartphone to see if I could get some comparable stats and uh, I can't. I don't seem to be able to pull any data off it for that kind of information. Um, yeah, three hours phone time. So that's uh, phone calls, three hours and 16 minutes making phone calls. Sorry, I'll pop this up so everyone can see. The question was three hours phone time in a month. Yeah, so that's three hours and 16 minutes of phone calls as opposed to texting and everything else because obviously I've been on it for quite a while. And um, texting, because that does take a long time. Um, I don't know how much data I've used. I did try the internet on this. I do not recommend one of these if you ever want to do anything on the internet. 
it does not work very well. It is slow and you are constantly zooming and scrolling because there's no touch screen. Of course, so you have to use the arrow keys to scroll around. It doesn't play any media back. There's no support for uh, flash or whatever the current video standard is. And um, so, yes, yeah, so it's not very good for anything on the internet. So I have been on the internet with it just to give it a go. I doubt I exceeded 10 meg, um, but yeah, I, I, it's not for that, that's for sure. Um, I did spend seven hours uh, during the last month um, playing this. Uh, thanks to Superwife for buying me uh, this Pokemon Go Game Boy Advance. And with it, I got the Game Boy games. So I've been playing Ruby. Sadly, after seven hours, I actually only have two gym badges. So I think I need to sort my act out because clearly I'm doing something wrong. Hello to the technology guy. Yes, hello. Um, so yeah, clearly I'm doing something wrong. So if you've got any tips for me on Pokemon Ruby as to how I can level up a bit faster, let me know because um, yeah, I feel like my uh, game is under par in that. So I did have a look on uh, this and I have been using my smartphone still at home as a tablet so I can read the news in the morning because breakfast is boring without something to read. So um, I have been reading the BBC website on this in the morning. I have used it for internet banking because there's no way of doing that. I mean, I can do it on my computer, but then I have to find my card reader and blah, blah, blah. So it's much easier just doing it on my phone. Um, and the other thing I have done is that occasionally I've used it for uh, messaging. If I just get a quick WhatsApp, it's just quick to pick it up and answer it. But um, that said, I have averaged less than 40 minutes a day in total usage on this phone in the last 28 days. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I probably spent 30 minutes reading the news in the morning. So it's not like I'm messing about scrolling on it. Uh, um, so there was one day that I did need to take it out of the house. That's the only day I've done it. I was working solo. And when I'm working solo, I still need internet access um, because there are forms to sign and Currently, with this, uh, it's got no Bluetooth and no Wi-Fi, so I can't hotspot a tablet or anything like that. So it did go out of the house once in the last 28 days, um, but only once. Um, and I'm going to look at some options so I don't need to do that in the future. And we'll come to that at the end because, I, yeah, I want to know which, uh, which way you think I should go with this. So the other thing I've been using a lot is uh, my sat nav, which was uh, kindly lent to me by my buddy Andy. So big thanks to Andy, because this has been really useful. Without this, uh, I would have been utterly lost on more than one occasion. The Garmin sat nav works very differently to using um, uh, Google Maps. And um, so you can put a postcode in, absolutely, that's fine. Obviously you can do that. And the maps are up to date. It is um, very up to date. There's, there was a new, there's a new roundabout literally opening probably next week. And the Garmin already knows that the roundabout exists. And um, it is currently trying to direct you around that roundabout, which you can't do, but um, you know, small things. Um, so big thanks to Andy for this, but I used it on Sunday. We were going out for dinner on Sunday. Uh, I put the postcode in for the restaurant we were going to. It didn't give me the right name of the road, but I thought I'll head to the postcode because I know vaguely where I am then and probably I can just find it. But no, it took me somewhere quite different to where I should have been. And um, we double checked the postcode. Uh, Superwife was with me, so she double checked the postcode on a phone while we were out, just in case I messed it up. Uh, but no, it, it didn't find it. And then what's weird is I tried to put the road in because you can do that on here. You can put postcode or you can put the road as your um, options, like the address. Um, so I put the road in, it would not find the road, uh, which is really weird. And then it's got another function which allows you to search under categories for things like uh, restaurants and petrol stations and things like that. So I actually put the name of the restaurant in and it found the road that it wouldn't find when I typed the road name in. So long story short, I got there in the end, but in a slightly circuitous route. Um, so it's not quite as good as using Google Maps in my opinion, but it is excellent. So thank you, Andy. I really do appreciate it. I do also have a couple of Windows CE sat navs actually. So I think I might get one of those out in the next few weeks and just have a play and perhaps compare it to a more modern Garmin and just uh, see how I fare. I, I fear the maps might be massively out of date. So I may struggle somewhat in um, 
finding places. So I think I'll um, take both sat navs with me when I do that. And um, so uh, thanks to the quality of the phone camera, I have been using a digital camera, which um, I actually ran over today. So that's not ideal. Um, so I'd been using it the weekend. And when I got out of the car, it must have dropped out. And then I drove over it this morning. So it spent two days in the rain and I ran over it. So I'm not sure it's still going to work. But the memory card's fine, so that's okay. And I'm glad I didn't run over an Android smartphone or an iPhone or something. Instead, it's just a digital camera off eBay that costs six quid. So that's okay. No panic there. Wait. On the Apple Newton. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can draw a map on the Apple Newton. I sincerely doubt you could find anything. <laughs> Uh, yes, the, well, I, I don't know yet. It was very wet, so I'm currently drying it on a radiator to see if it works. I do, however, have a spare one in this cupboard. In fact, there's a spare two in this cupboard. Um, so this is exactly the same model. So, um, yeah, so I can just swap the battery and the memory card over, but I would rather not have driven over it. And that, that is uh, a little disappointing. So I'm hopeful it'll dry out, um, but we'll, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm not 100% convinced. Um, so uh, there's been a couple of things where it's been incredibly inconvenient to not have a smartphone. So we went to a beer festival on Good Friday. Um, and instead of being able to just take my phone, um, I actually had to print out the tickets. Yes, you heard me. I had to print out the tickets, including the QR code, and take them as actual physical paper tickets. So that was quite novel. It didn't pose too many problems because for once my printer just worked as it's supposed to, but that in itself is a rarity for anyone who uses a printer much will know. And so that was fine. Um, and I can see that that's something I'm going to need. So joking aside, joking aside, uh, I am considering um, getting a 3.5 inch disc retro floppy disk camera. I have seen a couple and they don't tend to be too expensive. And I do have a stack of floppy disks down there that I could use with it. So joking aside, that is something I think I might look at in the future, perhaps not as a replacement for the phone on my uh, camera, uh, on my smartphone, but yeah, I want to, I think I'm going to do that. So yeah, yeah. If you want to see that, you know, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll uh, certainly make a video on it because I was planning planning that for the future anyway. I thought it'd be fun. Uh, so, yeah, printed tickets. That was kind of novel. Um, I went to Nando's with my friend last week and obviously I can't order at the table. You're supposed to scan at the table. They don't want you going to the desk. But, you know, I've just got to go to the desk. It's the what? Uh I'm not sure. I think there's a Sony floppy disk camera as well. Um, yeah, so I think there's two two different types. I'm pretty sure Sony made a floppy disk camera as well, unless that is the Mavica series. It could be, could be. Uh, but yes, I have looked at them in the not too distant past. And since since you've said you want to see it, I think I'll just go ahead and buy one. So, you know, just watch this space and I'll add it at somewhere at some point. Oh, there were many brands. That makes sense. Why would only one company ever do it? Yeah, so there's a few brands. That's fine. I will. Um, yeah, since it's been suggested, I, I think I will do it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I went to Nando's. Obviously, you, you can't uh, you can't book at Nando's anyway, so that doesn't matter. But you can't um, order at your table unless you can do... Uh, um... Oh, right. Well, yeah, I'd seen this. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Kirti Unlisted has just said, oh, no, I, I thought only Sony did it. I don't know. I, I think there might be other brands, but I know Sony did it. So that must be the Mavak, M Mavica that you mentioned. And um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hop on eBay after this and see if I can't track one down for not too much money. Um, <laughs> so I had to order at the desk and they just, they, honestly, they just don't want you ordering at the desk anymore. It's like a lot of places. They want you just to sit at your table and order, and then they just bring stuff they don't want to be messing about. So that was fine. My friend thought it was a bit weird that I had to go and order at the desk, but, you know, he understood. <laughs> um, and then um, at the weekend, I went um, to see somebody to pick up some dive kit. Um, so as many of you know, I, I do scuba diving. And I'm, uh, 
so I was buying some new cylinders basically and a few other bits and bobs um, and so without having a smartphone I couldn't go and then transfer the money when I got there and um, so thankfully Superwife joined me for the trip so I simply put the money in the joint account uh, and then uh, she uh, she transferred the money for me so I didn't have to take my smartphone that feels like a bit of a cheat to me um, but there wasn't any other way of doing it because I definitely can't do online banking offline so yeah that or cash I could have taken a big manila envelope of cash I guess but um, I feel like that's probably not appropriate what's this get one before before the floppy camera revival catches on you're right it's probably coming I mean people are buying cassettes again aren't they so I mean if people are buying uh, new cassette players then yeah there's probably a floppy disk revival just around the corner when it comes to cameras <laughs> How many images can you store? Like two? I mean, 1.4 meg isn't going to store many. I guess if it's only if it's only uh, VGA, you might store 10, maybe. You're not going to get a lot. Anyway, yes, I will be quick. Don't worry. I don't want to miss out. So, um, so my plan going forward. So here's the thing. There's two, there's two things I miss a lot about not having a smartphone. And neither of them is Facebook or social media. But I really miss having WhatsApp because while I can send a group text on here, so I have a, a group set up and you can type a text and send it to the whole group. When people respond, it doesn't land in a chat and this phone doesn't order things in a chat of any sort. So that means that then I get, say, three, four, five individual replies and then I have to reply to three, four, five individuals. So it's like endless texting after I've sent the first message. So I really miss WhatsApp for that group um, group ability. Oh, one other quirk is um, uh, this it keeps running out of storage for text messages. So it appears to hold um, about a 200 text messages-ish in that ballpark if, if you send multimedia messages with the great pictures off this uh, camera. Uh, it stores a lot less. and. Um, so you can either go through and delete them individually, which obviously you're not going to do for 200 messages because it's a right pain and you'd have a very sore thumb and there's no benefit to it. Um, so you just have to delete all the messages at once. So you, you literally go into your messages and then just delete all. It's a bit weird because there's then if you've got important information, you can't refer back. So you have to write things down, basically. If you get a text with something important, you have to write it down. Uh, but I digress. So the WhatsApp is very useful for organizing things and for using group chats so that's the first thing i really miss and um, and although i had a lot of the chats muted because they would ping endlessly there are times when it's useful to use whatsapp and um, just because of the group messaging facility and obviously the way it, it kind of stacks everything and um, the second thing i really miss is google maps and that's not because this sat nav is bad it's not it's a very good sat nav but having maps just there whenever you need it. So I went to find a post office in Osset uh, a couple of weeks ago and the sat nav took me to Osset, uh, but then I had to go and look for where the post office was and I couldn't Google it. And um, so that was a little frustrating and having maps on my phone would have meant I would have just checked on Google Maps where the post office was and just walked straight there instead of walking it in the wrong direction for five minutes reaching the end of the town and then turning around and walking back till I found the post office. Yeah, I mean, I did find it, so maybe I shouldn't complain. But um, yeah, I, I, I do really miss the maps. I do miss having a decent camera, but I can live without it because I can just use a digital camera. So that's it's not the end of the world, but it would be nice if it was a bit better than the camera on this because it's terrible. I mean, really terrible. Uh, if you saw my uh, comment on the community page, I, I put a photo up of the um, Easter egg that Superwife bought me uh, and it looks much better on this uh, camera than it does on the one on my phone. Um, so those are the two apps that I really, really miss. Um, so I've got two options for you and I'm going to put a poll up on the community page um, shortly after I finish this video, whenever that will be. And um, so the first option is, so I own a, a Cospet Optimus 
original, the Optimus uh, Prime, I think they called it. Um, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I It's been repaired. I've repaired it about a dozen times. It got really wet. Uh, oh, there are ones using... Oh, okay, sorry. I digressed. Let me just show you this message. We have just had a check. Sony was the only ones that used floppies. However, there were others using ZipDisk, iOmega, and Air. A G F A. Well, obviously that's much better storage. So you know, maybe I'll have a look and see how much they are. Although I like the idea of having floppies back in my pocket. You know, <laughs> really retro. And um, so basically, this is an Android watch. If you've not seen any full Android watch, I would suggest going to um, Smartwatch Ticks on YouTube. And um, he's very good, and he reviews loads of these. Look for the four G. Android watches, not the uh, Wear OS or any of these trackers or whatever. Look for, look for a, 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 a 4G uh, smartwatch and you'll find this one. This is the Optimus, Cus Cuspect Optimus. And um, so this is a fabulous watch. It runs Android 7, I think this one. And um, it's got an eight megapixel camera and it's got like a heart rate monitor and whatever. And you know. um, But you can run WhatsApp on it or Messenger or whatever, whatever. And um, the downside, oh yes, the Timex data link. Yes, that is a great piece of kit. Um, also, you know, Casio did a TV watch. I really would like to get my hands on one of those, but they're rare and they don't really work now because we've stopped broadcasting the right signal. So, you know, whatever. Um, yes, the Kodak Quick Picks. So I don't have a Kodak Quick Picks, but I do have a digital camera that will plug into a pocket PC, uh, VGA quality, you know, yes, yes. That makes it four times better than this, <laughs> which is really saying something. And um, so as we're saying, it's a full Android watch, so you can do uh, Messenger and WhatsApp. Obviously, there's a couple of drawbacks to having a watch. Uh, number one, and the main one, is that actually the battery life is pretty shocking now if you use it just as a phone like a dumb phone and just do texting you'll get a day and a half two days perhaps a bit longer if you're not sending loads of messages but if you connect it up to uh, the data and start using uh, either uh, mobile data or wi-fi the battery dies in like an hour or two like at most so if i went down that route there is the cuspect two which is the one i'm thinking of getting the optimus two which is the one i'm thinking of getting i'm probably going to buy it anyway so at some point you'll see it on the channel and um, but i'm wondering if that's the solution because i could hotspot for it for short periods i could use whatsapp on it but i wouldn't be able to have whatsapp on all the time so i'd need to turn my mobile data off when i didn't want messages otherwise the battery won't last a day so if you see what i mean it's like we have a compromise so i wouldn't be scrolling facebook or watching youtube videos on my phone but I would have my phone with me at all times and I'd still have maps and WhatsApp as and when needed in short bursts. So that's my first option. Sorry, let me just check these. Uh... Oh yeah, so um, <laughs> Andrew A says he's looking for the HP camera for Pocket PC, but he can't get it in Poland, no. I imagine there's a lot of things that are difficult to get hold of in Poland. And actually, the the Pocket PC and the Palm Pix cameras have had a retro revival. There's a few Instagrammers that use them, and there's a I'm sure there's a YouTuber that uses them as well and does like various arty things, um, which is not something I'll be doing. I'm not artistic. Um, but um, because of that, or partly because of that, the value of them has risen quite a lot. So I acquired mine. 10 years ago when I bought my um, Janata 728 and um, it cost me 12 pounds or 13 pounds. But these days I often see them going for more like 30 and 40 pounds. And the last palm picks I saw was nearly a hundred quid. I was like, no, I'm not buying that. Wait, what's cheating? Isn't that cheating having a smartphone like device from a whisper? Yes. So, 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 Kurti enlisted. So it is and it isn't cheating because if you spend more than about 20 minutes trying to browse Facebook on here, one, the screen's really small, so you'll get eye strain. So probably a bit of a no-no. And two, um, although you've got all the smartwatch options, you can't use them all day. 
because the battery will just go flat. <laughs> One of the other advantages of it though, is you can use Bluetooth headphones because honestly, going back to wired headphones and listening to MP3s on this Nokia, while the sound quality is good, the cables, like who knew that cables were such a pain? I'm like, oh, it's, it's just so bad, so bad. <laughs> So yeah, it, it, you could consider it cheating, but I feel because of the compromises, I, it means you can't be addicted to checking messages on your watch because if you do, the battery will be dead in the morning and that's it for the day. You've got no more messages. <laughs> and the second option and possibly the better one, I don't, I don't know. So, you, you know, you tell me, this is why I'm going to put it to a poll. So I'm, I'll just explain the second option. So basically Nokia created a, a Nokia flip phone 4G version. And so I think it's the 2770 or 2720 or something like this. It's got some numbers after it. Um, and on that particular phone, it does have access to WhatsApp and it does have access to Google Maps. It also has Google Assistant. So, you know, you can set alarms and make lists and whatever else you might use Google Assistant for. It also has Bluetooth, so it's possible to hotspot because that's one of the things that I could really do with doing from a from a from uh, my dumb phone or my, my everyday phone. I, I could do with hotspotting because that way when I'm out on my own, I can hotspot other devices um, for that brief bit of internet signing or, or form filling or whatever needs doing. Um, so that particular model has a two megapixel camera. The limit is if I use WhatsApp on that smartphone, which by the way, has a 36 day standby. I mean, can you imagine if you didn't have to charge your phone for like 20 days? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Never mind 36. Um, so uh, it does have a browser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm saying yes. I'm just reading these messages. Yeah. Oh, so you have a lot of, uh, oh, you have pocket PCs sealed. Okay, so, uh, I mean, that's pretty good going. I've got a few in boxes, but not sealed. Right, so it's just the accessories you struggle getting. The um, Yeah, I mean, uh, the, 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 the problem with the accessories is they never made that many of them. So there's millions and millions of pocket PCs but there aren't millions and millions of cameras to go with them um, or Wi-Fi dongles or GPS units. So if you've got one, you know, that's that's good. What's this? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know that they are. My channel is a bit niche, but there are people watching my channel, so some people must be interested in pocket PCs and BDAs. So, yeah. Um, so back to the phone. So... The, the disadvantage of the Nokia flip phone, well, one, it's really big to carry around because it's bigger than this and it's nearly as big as that when it's unfolded. And I feel a bit like, you know, I feel a bit like this is bigger than it should be. Um, I remember phones back in the day being a lot smaller. Um, so the flip phone's a bit big, so that's one disadvantage. The second is, and probably a bigger disadvantage, is if you use WhatsApp on that phone, because that phone can't do QR codes, you can't use WhatsApp web. And so what that means is while I'd be able to get WhatsApps on my phone and respond on my phone, I would forever have to type on a T9 input keyboard, which takes forever. And as much as I've been practicing, I am I am just not that quick. Um, so that's the big disadvantage on the Nokia. It has a two megapixel camera, which by all counts is okay for the odd snapshot, but is pretty poor quality. So those are my two options. So. I'm going to pop a poll up about that. And whichever way you think I should go, that's what I'm gonna do. What's this? One day they will be. Yeah, they might, one day they might be, yes. I, I think genuinely there is a good use for having a, a, a separate device that is your organizer as opposed to your phone. And um, just because and you get two screens, you can talk on the phone while you look at your calendar, you know, these, you know, these things are important. And with a pocket PC, you might sync it with your computer, but for the most part, it's offline. So anything that's on it is completely secure, unlike things on your phone, which is always online and therefore not secure because anyone could hack it. So, you know, there's a, that's, that's, that's a thing. What's this? Possible third option. Oh, yes. Now, Mm -hmm. So I did look at the P900 
Um, <clears throat> I believe that's the one from the James Bond film that I really wanted. And yes, you can connect to an external Bluetooth GPS. Now, I actually have an external Bluetooth GPS knocking around. So I've got a couple of pocket PCs that are sat navs. And I'll just I'll show you one. Uh, uh, this is the my guy 3500 go uh, the problem with using these or well i don't know because i've not tried yet but i think the problem using these will be that the maps will be so far out of date there will be whole estates that are simply missing from its knowledge and um, so that in itself will be interesting so i am going to look at those in a future video and um, i do have a bluetooth gps and if and it isn't if if i could hotspot or set up a Bluetooth area network, then I could use the Bluetooth GPS in this and actually connect it to Google Maps. So you can get Google Maps on your pocket PC. And at some point I, I, I might go down that route and show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, you can you can do that and it's not a bad plan. And um, so, yeah, um, but at the moment I can't hotspot. That's my main drawback i can't uh, bluetooth area network or hotspot or anything so i've not been able to try that or see how it works because i would be quite interested to see what it's like using google maps on a pocket pc in 2024 i mean this is you know 20 year old hardware so is it is it going to be good enough uh, it's mad that you can actually do it so uh, and then um, you can do it on them um, palms as well i've got a uh, palm t3 and you can do it on that if it's uh, os5 you can do it on that and um, so yeah hey rich how you doing glad you could join us what have we got uh one day <laughs> well yes but if they go back to being as popular as lps or eight tracks you know maybe the value of them will go up too much and we won't be able to buy them <laughs> Katie enlisted. Yes, you are right. T9 is so slow. Um, yes. Oh, did you use a T28? I had a T28 when I was at uni. I had, and I don't have it anymore, and I regret getting rid of it. I had um, the Ericsson MC12, uh, which is a, uh, an HP 320 in drag, I think. Is it the 320? Could be the 320. It's black and white, anyway, um, in drag. Um, and the. Um, uh, I had the modem and everything, and I did actually use it uh, to send uh, emails of my uh, T28. That's how cool I was when I was back at uni. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got uh, another option, an M600i. Oh, right. I've not looked at an M600i. I will have a look at those afterwards and see if it might be another option. And if it is, I will uh, add it. I did look at the Sony Ericsson W... I want to say 770 maybe, one of the Walkman phones. And I did look at that because it's got Bluetooth, but I don't think I could create an area network with it, which is one of the things I want to be able to do. I need to either create a Bluetooth area network or be able to hotspot. And I don't think it could do that. But I did fancy it because it was a flip phone. And I do like the idea of having a flip phone because that's properly retro, as opposed to just a bug standard candy bar phone. <laughs> Hello to you, Wade DeSmit. Okay, yes. Oh, oh, well, I, I'm glad you like my videos. Yes, we are a little late. I'm going to be wrapping this up soon. But thank you for joining me. I, I appreciate that, uh, that you've joined me. And I appreciate that you've messaged to say you've joined me. Because it is nice to see chats coming up. Rich's Random Retro Reviews. I use my HP. Yes. Yeah, you see. It's cool, is that? Wait. Coming up to Birmingham like recently, or like you used your HP 300LX like back in the day, back in the 20, what would it be, uh, 1998, 99, something like that for that, that device? Um, or do you mean like last week? Because if you mean last week, that's cool. Oh, back in the day, that's fine. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not even sure if you can carry data on the 2G network now. I've not tried for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe that's something worth trying. Just see if that works. Anyway, that's a, I digress, I digress. And um, so uh, there's one other thing I'd like to mention before uh, we uh, finish off this video. Um, and that is, wait, 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 you've got the GSM slot for the, 
Yeah, so we still have that. So, Kurt Enlisted has said he's managed to get the Apple Newton 2100 on the internet with a GSM PCMCIA card. Right. And you still have that. So, we still have the 2G network up and running here. It's scheduled to be stopped. So, it's mandatory that it's stopped by 2033. Yeah, 2033. But that doesn't mean the companies can't close it beforehand. It just means that it has to have closed after that date because they want to free up the radio bandwidth. But as I said the other week, there are, uh, I think I read the other day, there are 5 billion devices that use 2G networks around the world. And as we move away from 2G, skip the 3G and move, you know, just shut all of that down, all of those things just become e-waste which is horrendous. It's also kind of the nature of progress. It's it's a real, yeah, mixture of things there. And um, But obviously 2G is very efficient uh, in terms of uh, the battery required for the devices, which is why this tiny little 2G watch with its 300 milliamp hour battery can run best part of two days uh, on a single charge. Um, and that's because the 2G network is just, just requires so little power. And um, so, yeah, um, I'd love to see uh, I'd love to actually see your Apple Newton on the internet at the moment. That would be amazing. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know what websites you could use. I guess uh, uh, you could use um, oh, uh, the the news one. There's a uh, figure. It. It's gone. Oh, we've got a speed. All right. OK. I mean, dial up over 2G. Yeah. 9,600 bits. Uh, I mean, you know, that's not too bad. You know, we've all used serial connections at that. You wouldn't want to transfer any MP3s or anything. And um, so, yeah. So, um, so before I wind this up, I just wanted to say one thing, and that is that even after 28 days of playing Snake, I'm still rubbish at it. I've not even got through the 100-point mark, uh, and I'm sure all of you have done way better than me at that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep working on Snake until we decide uh, what my next option is. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite disappointed in myself. So take away from this, there's going to be uh, a survey to see whether you want me to get the Cospec Optimus 2. This one's busted. There is a video actually waiting to be edited about replacing the battery in this. Um, so whether you want me to get the uh, Cospec Optimus 2, which frankly, I've been saving up for it uh, since it was released about a year and a half ago. So I'm quite excited for that. Or whether you think I should stick with the old Nokia and go down the Nokia flip phone route. Or perhaps a third option, and I'll leave that to the comments in the poll. And the second takeaway is I still want to know any hints and tips on how I can level up faster in Ruby because I only have two gym badges after seven hours. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Okay, IRC for internet relay chat. Yes, I don't imagine that it would do that much. Jamie Frost would be great to see more on the sign organizer. So um, for the channel in general, there is more on the sign organizers coming. So the um, uh, OPL tutorial six, part six, that is kind of on its way. It's a few videos down the line, I'm afraid, of, uh, for varying reasons, um, but that's on its way. Um, there is going to be a video on the Scion printer. I really want to do a video on the Sienna, um, which is up there. It's my favorite. Um, it's probably my favorite of the Series 3 Scions. It's just so nice to use. So, And um, yeah, there will be plenty more on that. Um, so don't you worry. Um, right. I am going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, live stream. If you have, don't forget to hit subscribe. Once we've made a decision on um, what I'm going to do next, then I will organize another live stream once I've used it for a bit and I'll discuss the pros and cons and what's good, what's bad, what's, you know, what the battery life's like, whether I've managed to get it uh, sinking and all the rest of it. And so, yeah, so I'll do that as another live stream just because it saves me hours of editing time and I'm lazy. <laughs> right. I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Handheld Computing. See you next time.